I'm here with Johanna Good, our Director of Marketing, and the Race Trends Report is out. So what is the state of the industry? For the most part, I think we have a lot of encouraging news coming out of 2023. Races, on average, were up about 10% compared to 2022, and that's looking at events that were on the platform in both of those years. So it is looking at, you know, kind of per race what happened. Uh, we saw pretty good growth there. That puts those races at about 1% down from 2019. I think that's really encouraging that, you know, we're essentially back at baseline level um, where we were before the pandemic. Along with that, we saw about 5% race churn, where races that happened in 2022 did not come back in 2023. And that's also really on par with what we used to see pre-pandemic, um, where about 5 to 6% churn annually was average. So I think we're, you know, we're optimistic about the industry in general. Um, there is a little bit of nuance there. And I think what we see is that the races that are still having some trouble are larger races. So when we break down races by size, um, races that had fewer than 500 participants in 2019, um, they were actually up 14%. So we did see, you know, not just maintaining, but solid growth for that group. Um, races between 500 and 5,000 participants were down about five to seven percent on average. So a little bit, a little bit of a struggle still, but but, but coming up pretty close. Our largest races um, with more than 5,000 participants were still down 16 percent compared to 2019, um, and we saw similar levels of you know struggle between our top 100 report, where we look at all you know the, the top 100 largest races in the country. I think the good news on that is that, you know, only about 0.4% of races are, you know, races that have more than 5,000 participants. Most races are really, really small. Um, and, you know, that really means that only about 12% of participants are going to those events anyways. And so as an industry overall, we're seeing, you know, strong numbers. Um, it's just that kind of top group that is is having some trouble getting back to, to regular numbers.